Wat Saket is the highest temple in Bangkok and is one of the city's most historic temples. It's also known as the Temple of the Golden Mount or the Golden Mount. The temple's history dates back to 1467, when it was built during the Ayutthaya period. In Thai, the Golden Mount is Pukau Tong, and you might hear some locals refer to it in this way. The Golden Mount is easily reachable. It's a 15-minute walk from Samyot MRT station, and also about a 15-minute walk from Khao San Road. If you're coming from Sukhumvit and feeling adventurous, you can reach the Golden Mount by boat. Take a Klong San Seb boat to the Pan Fa boat terminal. If you're going to climb to the top, plan on visiting in the early morning or late afternoon for the most comfortable times of day. You'll want to avoid the midday heat. The original temple was built during the reign of King Rama III. The temple had a massive chedi that collapsed under its own weight because of Bangkok's soft soil. Eventually, the abandoned structure took the shape of a hill, as mud accumulated and it became overgrown with plants. It was then referred to as Pukau by locals, as if it was a natural formation. Also during this time, the vultures of Saket would come to be known as a cholera epidemic hit the city. Later, King Rama IV would begin the construction of a small chedi on the hill, and it would be finished under King Rama V. A relic of the Buddha, his teeth, were brought from Sri Lanka and placed in the chedi. The surrounding concrete walls on the mount were added in the 1940s to stop erosion. Before or after your climb to the top, explore at ground level to see many Buddha images and reliefs. Of course, what draws most visitors to this landmark is the 360 degree view of Bangkok from the top of the temple. To reach the top, there's a winding 344 step staircase that wraps around the hill. Often missed, the Wat Saket Temple itself is located at the base of the hill. In the temple complex, you'll find an ordination hall and a viharn. You'll also find a hotri, where Buddhist scriptures are kept. The ordination hall has a large seated Buddha image and rare murals depicting Buddhist hell. In the Buddha Images Hall, you'll find a large seated Buddha, Pra Atarat, and a large standing image, Pra Ruang. There's also a cloister of 163 Buddha images to be seen here. There are also two Lucky Buddhas to be found here. The Lucky Buddha and the Fortune Buddha. Both are seated and backed by beautiful murals. One of the most famous Buddha images at Wat Saket is the Luang Por Dam, or the Black Buddha. The image dates to the Ratanakosin period. Duck into the cave-like Bamiyan Museum to see fragments of Buddha sutras from Bamiyan in Afghanistan, as well as a replica of the Buddhas of Bamiyan, which were destroyed by the Taliban in 2001. Thais can climb for free. Foreigners, however, must buy a ticket for 50 baht. Fortunately, you'll be distracted and not too uncomfortable during the climb. There is a water mist that helps to cool you and maybe even make the climb feel a little mystical. You'll also find waterfalls, running water, fish, and a variety of statues to view as you climb. You can even stop at the Golden Mount Coffee along the way. It's a small cafe where you can take a break. Eventually, you'll reach the first flat area. Here there are prayer bells, a gong, and there's also a small Buddha shrine. You're free to ring the bells and make a wish or ring the gong for good luck. When ready, continue your way up until you reach the windowed building you saw from the ground level. This is the shrine hall. Don't remove your shoes just yet. If you visited other Thai temples, this might seem odd to you. Keep your shoes on and enter the shrine hall. At the center and directly under the chedi containing the Buddha relics, you'll find a shrine covered in gold leaf. This gold has been applied by worshippers over many years. You'll also find many other shrines and images where people pray, make merit, and seek blessings. If you'd like to worship during your visit to Wat Saket, you'll need nine incense sticks, one candle, and three lotus flowers. To reach the rooftop chetty, you'll climb a small staircase near the shrine hall entrance. 
The chedi is made of gold ceramic tiles. During festivals, you'll see the chedi wrapped in colored cloth. Inside the chedi are the Buddha's teeth, gifted to King Rama V by the British government. You'll also find messages and names written on heart-shaped gold leaves hanging from bells. You can buy a leaf and write your message or wish. These can be hung from the top of the golden mount or from a tree at ground level. Here, at 77 meters above Bangkok, you'll find a peaceful place to relax and take in views of the city in every direction. You'd be mistaken if you think there's not much more after the rooftop chetty. The way down is not the same route you took to reach the top of the Golden Mount. While descending, you'll reach a junction. Going to the right, you'll see statues of vultures. Going to the left, you'll go to Guan Yin. During the reign of King Rama II, cholera broke out in Bangkok and killed 30,000 people. Bodies could not be disposed of within the city walls and were instead taken to Wat Saket. There were too many bodies to cremate in a timely manner, and the bodies left in the open attracted vultures. Just below the vultures of Saket Memorial, you'll find a small shrine containing an image of a monk. Below this is the image of Luang Porto and the Buddha's footprint. Luang Porto is a large gilded Buddha statue. It dates to the reign of King Rama III. Worshippers pray at the statue as it's thought Luang Porto prevents bad things from happening and provides happiness and joy. You'll also find a giant gong and small trees with handwritten messages on heart-shaped gold leaves. If you didn't buy a heart at the top, you can do so here for 40 baht. Going left from the junction, you'll see a statue of Guan Yin, the Buddhist Bodhisattva associated with compassion. Will you be climbing the Golden Mount or exploring Wat Saket during your next visit to Bangkok? Is there something we covered that you missed during a past visit? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and check out one of these other videos.